Well, hello there. Welcome back to Vault Hunters. It's me, Swarley Pilgrim, your best friend, your buddy, your pal, Scott Stanford. That's a very incredibly niche reference that no one's going to get. Uh, all right. Welcome back to Vault Hunters. We were looking for chromatic iron. We need to make our way back down into the pit. We need to make our make ourselves uh, go much deeper this time than we did yesterday. Uh, because we need to get to negative 30, I believe it is. If we check our quest book, why negative 30 is where we're headed. We've got some torches now, which we can hold in our other hand. And because of these shaders that I have, this will actually light, uh, light everything up around us. Which is very, very helpful for when you're mining. Uh, oh, and now it's raining. That's very nice. Very good. Very, I don't know where this accent came from, uh, but it's here. And uh, I'm going to stop doing it. I've just decided. Sorry if that was your favorite part of the series so far. My bad. All right. Down we go. <laughs> I really hope that a really horrible accent is not your favorite part of this series so far. We're only on episode two. Give me a minute. Give me a little bit more time. I'll come up with better, better bits. I promise. Oh, wait. I'm going to murder that baby. Okay, it's fine. The zombie baby, of course. Um, all right, we're down to the caves. Whereabouts are we? We don't want to... We don't want to die, all right? We don't want to die. That would be embarrassing, and I usually do, but not this time. Uh, we're at negative six. Okay, so we need to keep going down. Thankfully, this cave keeps going down. There's a spawner right there, which is very interesting. Two spawners? What the hell? Um, sorry, I'm just gonna... Why is that screaming? Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right, well, hello, literally everyone. How's, how, how you doing? Oh, I've been poisoned? <laughs> oh, no. Where did that Omega spawner come from? R oh. Oh. Uh, well, thankfully in this mod, all of our stuff gets saved within a grave that spawns on the spot where you die. So we just need to make our way back down to where we died and get our stuff back. It's not too bad. Um, and as you can see, it actually leaves you a waypoint on where you died, so it's very easy to go track down your stuff again. I died again. I died again trying to get my stuff back. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> two, two deaths. Rack me up, coach. Rack them up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The creepers. Okay. Oh. How do I... How do I handle this this issue? What do, what do, I, do I drop down? I think I'll, I just want to drop down, I think. And hope? And pray? I hope and pray? We hope and pray. We hope and pray. Okay, that worked. That worked. Alright. There's one of my deaths. Not the one that matters, though. Let's go a little deeper in. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're back. We're back, baby. Okay. All right. Let's just continue on like uh, like nothing happened. Ignore the death counter. That's uh, what's that doing there? Oh damn! I wanted to. Okay, that's fine. Let's. Uh, hopefully, this isn't another red spawner. It is. Let's ignore it. Um. But actually, hey, look at that. Now that could be that could be what we're looking for, or that could be. Fluorite, because they both look very much the same. But if we press one on the numpad, uh, if we look at if we look at blocks, you can see in the top uh, top of the screen there, it actually tells you what you're looking at, which is a very handy mod. So we can tell that this is yeah, this is fluorite. Okay, that's not what we're looking for. Damn, we're still not low enough. We need to go lower. Oh. Okay, we go back. We reassess. We go back. Look, there's four of them. Five, six, twelve. How many creepers is that? Baloney. This is bull -oni. Grab and go. We grab and we go. We grab and we go. Just need to keep going deeper into the cave. We'll worry about everything else later. Let's eat so we don't die. Oh, boy. Are we at negative 30 yet? We are. Okay. All right. Now we're in the spot to find what we're looking for. Wow, look at this. I just found an amethyst cave, just kind of hanging out. I was looking for chromatic iron, and well, here it is. It's just chilling. 
This is great. Well, it isn't chromatic iron, but uh, look at what I found. This is going to come in handy. We'll grab that now. And look at that. We got two. Good. How, can we get three? Is it possible? Can we get three diamonds? Enough for a pickaxe. No, we can't. We'll, we'll get two. All right. We'll take the two and we'll be grateful for two. And we will continue yet again. Oh, glow squids. Should we get some glow dust as well? And more diamonds, it looks like. All right, let's, um, let's grab some glow stuff, and then I will get back to the chromatic iron hunt. Oh. Oh, it's fluorite. God damn it. Oh. Oh, god damn it. It's fluorite. Again. Okay, good news. Uh, this is not chromatic iron that we were looking for, but this is vault stone. This is another thing that we're going to need. Uh, it doesn't say so in the book. It does, right here. Vault stone. The next quest that we're going to need uh, is vault stone, so... We've kind of jumped ahead a little bit, and we found some vault stone. Uh, we'll do a we'll do a bit of a diggy diggy. We'll mark it on our map, and uh, we will continue again one more time with our chromatic iron hunt. What's this? Oh, hey, we found it, everybody. We found it, chromatic iron. We found it. I can't mine it because I don't have any iron, and I don't I can't get any iron because I don't have any uh, cobblestone, and I can't get any cobblestone because we're down really far. But, we found chromatic iron. So, we will kill this zombie first. We'll kill this zombie. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to scoop all of this stuff up. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Check this out. Chromatic iron. Uh, I need some empty inventory space. What can we get rid of? Andersite. One single cobblestone. We'll keep the vault cobblestone, because that's important. We'll get rid of the tough. Cobble deep slate. Cobble deep slate. Normally, I'd keep the deep slate for building, but uh, we live in an already made castle, so I think we're fine. Look at this. Let's dig this up. Let's complete this quest. How much do we need? Uh, 16. 16 chromatic iron. We'll get more than that, but uh, we're at 9 already. Good. Very, very good. I'm curious to see how much uh, vault stone it wants us to dig. Thankfully, we've got a spot, a spot marked for that on the map already. We've uh, we've found two of the hardest things to find in Vault Hunters, and uh, that, that means we're going to be able to get into the modded stuff a lot sooner, which is great. Just uh, ignore the death count, that's all. We just don't need to pay attention to it, all right? Just, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, I cleared out that whole dang vein. It's all gone. How much did we get? We got a stack and a half, a little over a stack and a half. Not bad. That, uh, that'll that keep us going for quite a while. Uh, we won't need to look for it uh, much more than that. Plus, I believe if we check this, yeah, we get 24 iron ingots as well, which is going to be really, really helpful. Uh, so let's mark that as complete. The next step to finding uh, to your adventure is finding yourself some vault stone. Vault stone can be found below Y negative five and has a ten percent chance to drop a chipped vault rock when mined without silk touch. Uh, so we need to mine sixteen vault stone uh, and get eight chipped vault rock, which is a ten percent drop from from mining vault stone. So I'm glad we didn't mine all that vault stone earlier because the quest wants us to actually do the mining. So great, let's uh, let's make our way over to our vault stone marker. Where is that? Okay, that's over that way. It's in our uh, it's in our series of tunnels. Stop shooting me! I'm just I can't be bothered with you right now, pal. Oh, I've looked at an Enderman. Oh, we are dead. Get in the water. Get in the water. We'll just hide in the water. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh my God. Let's try to fight back. Come here, pal. Come on, let's fight. Oh, he's brought back up. He's brought so much back up. Oh my god. He's got so many friends. Endermen hate water though, so there's there's Swarley Pilgrim's hot tip of the week. Hot tip of the day. Endermen hate water, man. It doesn't have a flavor, they say. I don't want to drink water because it doesn't have a flavor. You gotta drink water, man. Stay hydrated. Get yourself something to drink right now. If you're watching this YouTube video, go go get yourself some some water. Not a not a not a Pepsi. We got an ender, ender pearl from that. That's amazing. Ah! 
I don't want you to get a Pepsi. I don't want you to get an energy drink. I don't want you to go make a tea. Grab some water. Get it in you. I have no idea where the entrance to our cave is. I've lost it entirely. The waypoint didn't help. Um, although, if we can make it out alive, uh, we can find that waypoint and then dig straight down, and then we'll find it. If we don't fall into a horrible cliff in, into spikes and stuff. Because that, that can happen. <laughs> All right, let's try to get out of the caves alive. I will see you guys in a second. Mm, we made it out. We can go home. We can sleep in our bed. And revel in all of the things that we found. And then dig straight. We can break one of the cardinal rules of Minecraft and dig straight down. Are we excited? You guys excited about that? I'm pretty stoked. Ah, finally in bed and ready to, ready to get started on day six of our adventure. How exciting. All right, what are we doing today? We've got to, well, dump all of our gubbins, because we've got a lot of gubbins. Get in there. Get in there, gubbins. Uh, we will try to keep things a little bit separated, though. Can we make another chest, perhaps? Let's see. Let's grab some of this wood and some of this wood here. And we'll make a, we'll make a separate chest for our vault hunter's stuff, just to keep it separate for now. Because we don't want to get our vanilla Minecraft and our vault hunter's stuff. Uh, confused here. So we'll take our chromatic iron and we'll take our vault cobblestone. We'll take the vault hunter's book and probably that's it for now. And we'll put all that in our in our vault thing here. We'll probably just put our cooked vault steak in there for now as well. Um, I forgot all this too. Uh, we've got some paintings. We can throw down a painting. Uh, if you guys want me to, I can change these paintings to be custom. Do you guys have any ideas for any paintings? Let me know. What images would you like to see as a painting uh, hung up in, in my castle somewhere? I can change these. Absolutely. Uh, let me let me know if you've got any ideas. Keep them there for now. Um, right. Uh, gubbins emptied. Uh, stuff put there. What do we need? We need to go dig up that vault stone. So let's, uh, let's go. All right. So according to this waypoint, uh, the vault stone can be found directly down here. So we are going to break the cardinal rule of Minecraft. And we are going to dig straight down until we land in our mining uh, facility. Oh, boy. Let's just take a minute. Uh, let's just take a minute to heal up a little bit, just in case we do another big fall like that. We don't want it to kill us. Uh, it should have made a bucket and some water as well. That would have been smart. Uh, we can make a we can make a, an elevator. One of the cool things that I've learned how to do in vanilla Minecraft is make a water elevator, which is, is pretty sick. We might make one. We'll see. Please leave me alone. I'm trying to heal. You're making it difficult. Okay, down we go. Down we go. We keep going down. Will this go well? Oh, God. It's not... I'm not, I'm not feeling super confident. I'm telling you the truth here. But down we must go. Let's... Oh, God. Oh, my God. All right. We put the water in. We pour the water in a little bit better. And in we go. Now we can swim down this long hole and get down to our, our body without falling to death. Periodically stopping to come out to have a breath. And, of course, punch a creeper until he blows up. Atta boy. Down we go again. Look, here we are. We got all our stuff back. Easy peasy, living greasy. We just need to get back to that vault stone. That's all. Then we can end this episode and move on to our next dreams. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I should have stopped and looked around before I kept digging. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got our stuff back. Once again, we've made it. Uh, we don't want to hang around here too long, just in case one of these guys shows up again. All right, let's keep going. we got to keep moving down. Down we go. Ah, we've made it. We've made it to our vault stone. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's dig this and complete this quest. There we go. we gotta, we got to get vault, hip vault rock, though, right? Or for the quest, we just need to mine 16 vault stone, and then we get 8 vault rock. Okay, so if you're... If you're unlucky and you don't get enough vault rock from the stone that you mine 
the quest book is nice enough to give you enough to get started, which is very, very cool. This is all very new. We'll dig all this vault stone and we'll see. We'll see how many chip rocks we get without the quest book's help. You know what? I'm actually going to leave uh, the rest of this vault stone here, just in case. Just in case we need some more later on down the road. We only got three chip vault rock from that ourselves. We need four to make a vault crystal to open up our first vault. Boom, look at that, we got four. Okay, so we managed to get four on our own without the quest book, but the quest book uh, giving us some is gonna be really, really helpful. So props to the props to the mod team for adding that in. That's gonna be super helpful. Um, all right, we're gonna call it, uh, call it there. Uh, thank you for watching this cursed episode that's crashed multiple times. I've died multiple times, but we managed to get through uh, the first two quests in the quest book. Boom, look at that. So we're going to move on to Vault Rocks uh, tomorrow, and I hope to uh, see you guys there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.